clearly you're at a place where you're trying to read more. And whether that's just because you want to better yourself or you just want to knock as many books as you can off your to-be-read stack, either way, I've got 11 easy, simple, practical tips and tricks for you that will help you read more. Tip number one is pretty easy. Always have a book with you. Keep your current read in your car, in your bag, or even on your favorite corner of the couch. Tip two is take advantage of the little moments. It's not just binge reading that gets the pages turning. It's taking advantage of those tiny moments like when you're in line at the grocery store or waiting at your dentist appointment. Five to 10 minutes sprinkled throughout the course of the day can make a huge difference in your page count. Tip three, put the Kindle app on your phone. That way you can read eBooks whenever you want. Stop playing Candy Crush and start reading. It makes taking advantage of the little moments that much easier and the pages will fly by. If people wonder why you aren't texting them back, just tell them you're busy reading. Number four, make the choice to read at breakfast or lunch or both. Take that 15 to 20 minutes and spend it reading. It's almost meditational and makes for a great reset for the rest of your day. Number five, and one of the most important tips, if you don't like it, don't read it. So many people feel guilty about starting a book and not finishing it. Don't! Give yourself permission not to finish. If you're 50 pages into a book and you're not liking it, kick it to the curb. Why waste your time reading something you don't like? You'll spend way more time suffering through it than you will finding a book that you really love. Number six, read more than one word at a time. This little technique is something I picked up naturally as a child. I honestly didn't realize most people only read one word at a time. To me, that sounds almost painful. Over time, you can train yourself to read multiple words at once. Try letting your eyes glide smoothly over the page instead of starting and stopping at every word. You do have to be patient for this trick, but just to give you an example, at the start of 2017, I think you read about two to three words at once, and at the end of 2017, I was reading four to six words at once. It will happen naturally the more you read. Number seven, audiobooks. Listen to them. Audiobooks are so underestimated and not enough people take advantage of them. I'm telling you right here and now, chores have never been so fun. All those mindless tasks we hate, like folding laundry and washing dishes, are now approximately 1,000 times more fun. <laughs> you can also listen in the car on your way to and from work. No more radio ads, just you and the open road. And morning traffic. Number eight, share what you're reading with friends. Sharing what you're reading with friends works for a few reasons. First, because it's just more fun. You can connect over favorite characters and hear other readers' thoughts. It also adds a layer of accountability. If you post what you're reading on Facebook and Instagram, you're more likely to finish it. Everyone knows, after all. Number nine, buddy read. This takes sharing what you're reading to a whole other level. These are really fun to do with popular books. Find a friend with a similar interest and read a book together. You can set a schedule or let each other go at your own pace. Either way, it's such a blast to receive a text rejoicing over a character or fangirling over a favorite scene. Number 10 reward yourself. When I was a kid, my mom created her own reward system when we were reading during the summer months. I'm actually convinced it's what made me such a fast reader. You can and should make a reading reward system for yourself. What's that thing that's been sitting in your Amazon cart for the last three months untouched? Set yourself a page number goal. Once you reach it, you're allowed to buy it. I suggest setting your goal based on total pages read as opposed to total books read. Some books are short, some books are long, but you should reward yourself for all of them. Number 11, my last and final tip, display your books. Sure, this may be a case of monkey see, monkey do, but it really works. If you display your books proudly, you're sending a silent message to yourself. I am a reader. You're more likely to enjoy the books you have and pick up new ones. Do you have any tips or tricks that help you read more? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. If you liked this video, you're gonna like the rest of them. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hey, leave me a comment below because I love talking to you guys. Until next time.